Hello, hello friends. Welcome, welcome to our day number 11. So I'm live on both YouTube and Facebook. So when I'm looking here and there, you know that I'm trying to get people, you know, get your attention on Facebook and get your attention on, on YouTube. So welcome and thank you. Thank you for checking in, looking in, and just being part of this challenge every day. 30 days in June, every day with a wisdom nugget in leadership. We all need wisdom to grow as family leaders, as business leaders, as team leaders, whatever we are leading, wherever we are leading, we need wisdom. And that's my aim to bring a few tips here and there every day and hope that you are participating as well. All right. Uh, today's leadership um, tip or title, so to say, is leadership in, in leadership is prestigious. That's our title for today's challenge. 11th of June, 2023. So one of the things I would like to say about being a good leader is the prestige that comes with it, okay? Some people think, <laughs> they think they can do anything and get away with it. No, 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 not at all. And especially not when you are a leader. You cannot get away with it. There are more eyes on you than you can imagine. You think maybe nobody's watching, but trust me, a lot of people are watching. Okay? Therefore, a leader is not expected to be dishonest. Uh, yes, of course, we are talking about the ideal world, an ideal situation. So I know that there are a lot of dishonest leaders out there but their dishonesty will come back and bite them sooner or later. And we just look back in history, you can find all that. So allow integrity to guide you, okay? If nobody ever thanks you for it, trust me, your children will thank you for it because children watch these things and it, it is what you leave behind that they pick up. So... Um, yeah, so just be be a good leader because you're a leader in the family, you're a leader in business. You're, however, whichever position of leadership you find yourself, do the best. And guess what? It's a good thing that you are listening to this right now in case you are saying, oh, but I cannot, you know, I'm struggling with that. Yeah, so if you are struggling with leadership, good leadership qualities, you are in the right place. Allow me to guide you. Allow me to help you. That's the whole point of this cha daily challenge. Everyone needs a helping hand from time to time. And I'm here to help you. I'm here to guide you. I'm here to assist you in your journey. Do not run after money at the expense of a good name and a trusted brand. Everything has a process. Wealth is worthless in the day of trouble. So don't run after money. Build a foundation, a firm foundation. Lay a good foundation before you can build your business on it. A business can collapse at any time. But people with integrity are more likely to rebuild quickly. Why? Because your previous brand was trusted, people trusted you, and you led with in, in, in diligence with an integrity. So people will respect you for that and will even assist you in rebuilding your business. However, even if you want to do the, you know, the old business or you are thinking of doing something new, but because you stood out with your business principles. People will, will come and help you. You know, like I say, a good name goes a long way. 
Um, and as we know in the world of today, everybody wants fast here, yeah, fast there, yeah, you know, the fast food, fast food con concept, yeah. But as we know, fast food is detrimental to your health if you only want to survive on fast food. So it's the same principle here. Don't try to build quick, build a solid foundation so that you can build on that foundation. It's not just running after money, wanting to, to make it quick. No. Easy does it. Slow and steady wins the game. All right? It's, it's just a simple principle. Fast food is bad, so cancel that concept from your business. Take your time to lead and to build your brand with prestige because leadership should be prestigious. Therefore, do it the right way and it will pay off in a long run, okay? So that's my tip for, for you today. Drop your own tips as well. Participate in this challenge. I said it from day one. It is not Victoria's challenge. It is our challenge. Let us participate. Leave your comments because you will be helping others as well as helping yourself. The more you participate, the more you pull out the substance in you. You'll be thinking about what you are writing as well. So it will, it will help you as well. So anyway, we want to keep this sweet and short and crispy and nice. So thank you for joining me again today. And I should see you tomorrow. However, if you need anything in the meantime, you know the drill. Do not despair. Just ask Vicky. I'm only an email or phone call away. And of course, we are here on social media. You can contact me here as well. All right. I will love you and leave you. So stay blessed until tomorrow. Thank you for today. Bye.